सेमिनार सुरू करने पक्ष में गई राीर रहा पैला जस्ट जेनरल ग्राउंड रूल्स को बारे में जस्ट वन मिनट जस्ट हाईलाइट करना चाहिए ओवरअल हम हम आज को स्पीकर डाक्टर देवकटा जी हमी निवरअल टाइम थर्टी टू थर्टी फाइव मिनट्स प्रेजेंटेशन वहाँ होने रिक बड़ी जस्तु होना लगे मैं फाइव मिनट्स अगड़ी आई विल लेट यू नो रिमाइंडर हई अभी बोलने क्रम में नवराज सर के इंग्लिश नेपाली जो कंफर्टेबल हो हमी नाइन्टी नाइन पर्सेंट सब नहीं कारण नेपाली नहीं होट एवर यू फील कंफर्टेबल सेम वे क्वेश्चन एंसर भी और इंग्लिश दुईट अभी क्वेश्चन एंसर करने क्रम में हम डॉक्टर घिमिरेश नापा सेक्रेटरी वुल मोडरेट दिन एंसर सेशन एंड इफ वी नीडेड वी कैन हेव कपल अफ पीपुल बट वी विल सी हेव इट गोल्स अस पच्ची एज मच एज पॉसिबल विल ट्राई टू टेक योर क्वेश्चन बट इफ वी कैन नट आई होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाई ते हिस्सा में हम आज को जेनरल सेमिनार सुरू कर गई रह आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर मेक पराजुली टू वेलकम आवर स्पीकर एंड पार्टिशिपेन्ट्स फ्रम द नाफा डॉक्टर पराजुली प्लीज नमस्कार डॉक्टर तिवारी जी नमस्कार सब साथी में थैंक यू फर दिस अपर्चुनिटी सब भाला कतिपय साथी मैं चिन्नभक मेरा नाम मेघनाथ पराजुली मेक्सस एन एम यूनिवर्सिटी में कार्यरत छु रही नापा को करेन्ट प्रेसिडेन्ट को हैसियत मम कर आज को सत्ताईसों नापा वेबिनार कन्फ्रेन्स में यहाँ सब हार्दिक स्वागत करना चाहूँ रहाँ सब भन्ना मैं एटेन्डिज रेसल इन्विटेशन टू भाइस चांसलर डॉक्टर नवराज देवकोटा जो हम आज को स्पीकर हो परिचय पीछे हम वेबिनार कमिटीक अध्यक्ष जीवले गुने तर मलिक के भन्न चाहूँ एज एन अर्गनाइजेशनल लीडर I am so proud to uh, say that uh, the current webinar committee chaired by Dr. Tiwari, it has done tremendous job of recruiting all internationally renowned scientists, professional academicians, entrepreneurs, and so forth, so that we can bring the best of the best talents to our organizational members to interact with them, exchange ideas. learn from each other and hopefully expand our napa's vision and mission forward so that's the goal and uh, on that theme once again this committee is congratulated for bringing uh, the caliber of dr devkota to today's proceeding uh, <clears throat> with that uh, i'll just throw a few things uh, on behalf of society uh, napa we have uh, tremendous uh, progress being made uh, this executive committee is uh, uh, more than halfway through its uh, 16 18 months into its uh, two year uh, tenure but uh, i like to express uh, or extend this message to all of you attendees that we have a third biennial international conference is scheduled to be held uh in late may 2022 uh, the announcement has been out we have been aggressively uh, working on bringing to you the best of the best uh, international conference that you can think of uh in attendees we have uh, chairman of that organizing committee dr nanda joshi uh, and we have all the heavy duty folks working on bringing that to you so just to make sure that please tune in to all the announcement coming from uh, napa and its organizing committee and make sure that you plan on, uh, on attending submitting po po posters papers and what have you uh, and the second thing i want to bring up among among lots of activities napa is doing napa is heavily now working toward developing uh, its uh, uh, endowment fund and many of you have contributed many of you are already engaged 
many of you are still thinking of doing it at the proper time i encourage you you all those attendees and your colleagues uh, your well well wishers to bring all those uh, folks to napa in building this uh, endowment fund to its strongest level uh, you know one brick at a time will uh, uh, ultimately give rise to a building so that's what we are doing with that uh, i don't want to take away the thunder of today's uh, uh, wonderful presentation that's lined up uh, thank you for the opportunity to once again welcome all the attendees and today's speaker thank you very much floor is back to you dr tiwari okay thank you very much dr parajuli and napa president uh, thank you for your time and and i know despite the busy schedule glad uh, to have you all and again uh just few words uh, in terms of our uh, speaker today the speaker dr navaraj devgota professor and and vice chancellor of gandaki university it is just a just a wonderful opportunity for all of us here to have dr devgota today discussing about today's uh, uh seminar and uh i had the privilege to to uh, to from those college days to to be together with dr devkota and i'm really proud to to bring you here to, uh, today for our discussion and and the seminar here and indeed it is clear to all of us that dr navaraj devkota is a person uh, that really does the need the introduction we we you know i mean if, you know he, he has done so much and i mean we we you know most of the agriculture is you know uh we know him well we know his work we know we know his uh, uh friendship and personality and 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 uh, really you know uh, exciting uh, personality uh to have and and, and simplicity so uh dr devkota in terms of education uh he started with uh, he started with the with the lamjung campus and rampur we we had the opportunity to be together in rampur and uh his master of science in animal science from chiang mai university of thailand he was able to win a prestigious scholarship ford foundation scholarship and also he was able to secure a gold medal in his masters program and when after he completed the, his masters i think he came back and served few years in uh, back to rampur and then he completed his phd in pasture science from mercy university new zealand in 99 we all know i mean uh, you know dr the bequota he has done tremendous job of research and teaching in afu especially in forage production and its use and in addition to just being a only the research work he has worked in a several publications he has served in several you know, in, in terms of editorial board of you know journal of institute of agriculture and animal science and he uh, he was also editor in chief of 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 the journal of institute of agriculture and animal science and also the editor in chief of the journal of agriculture and forestry university for more than 7 8 years in total so uh in addition to teaching and research uh, dr devkota also served as a research director which is equivalent to the dean position for several years in afu and uh, he has done lot of you know uh, work in terms of research as a research director in, in rampur and uh overall he had more than 110 peer reviewed journal articles that is really really that it just tells itself in terms of publication and his research uh, research interest not only in the teaching so really focused on research and on teaching as well and he had uh, supervised Uh, about 30, uh, 35 uh, masters and phd students uh, of which about 15 are phd students so really awesome personality and great to have you dr devkota here tonight with uh, all of us or this morning all of us in, in nepal so uh, again i'm really delighted to welcome you here as as you know uh, uh, as today's speaker uh, vice chancellor of uh, gandak university and professor dr devkota please uh, for is yours thank you thank you thank you very much 
Dr. Tiwari and Dr. Porazuli. I think uh, I'm thrilled to be here uh, in this evening, the air, and then very fresh morning here in Nepal. Um, actually, it's not that what you have been talking about me in terms of contribution and involvement, but obviously we are in the same boat. I'm seeing my guru and several of seniors and my colleagues uh, to whom we've been still working, uh, whether we are in Nepal or abroad. Uh, but being an associated member of NAPA, um, I'm really honored in this morning here in Nepal to say something about my experience. Actually, it's nothing new. You can just uh, learn from my slides that uh, this is my little bit, I should say, uh, attempt only. Uh, because the title, Contribution of Higher Education in Promotion of Livestock Sector in Nepal, uh, yes, sir, this is a very vast, you can understand. And it's something like uh, attempt to take you to a very beautiful place, for example, in Rara Lake. If you visit Rara Lake, uh, you have the different scenario there and your perception could be different. How do you interpret the beauty of Rara Lake? For example, uh, Rara Lake can be viewed in terms of uh, sceneries, in terms of reflection of mountain and changes of color and uh, in terms of different fish species that are only available in Rara Lake, how do you interpret? Something like that, you know, contribution of higher education in promotion of livestock is a very nested thing. It's, it's difficult to talk in terms of direct contribution. So what I'm trying is, I'm trying to collect some of the pertinent information so that the topics could be like this, not really specific, but can be a kind of challenging. So what, what I'm thinking is perhaps uh, you will have uh, that kind of reflection. Many of us from Nepal, I know knows about a higher education system in a uh, country and then the livestock sector. So let us see how we can have a kind of reflection. And at the end, I'm ready to uh, talk also my impression if there are some queries. Navadeh, yes. can you are you yes. uh, are you uh, sharing your video? I think we cannot. At least I cannot see your video. Can is it possible to share video? Oh yeah, we can. I can see it now. Yeah, good. Okay, is that all right? That's better. Okay. Yeah, That's right. Better. Okay. Uh, Higher educational institution. What I'm trying is, there are several institutions, for example, total strength of the university is 14, including academic and then institutions. Uh, but my focus will be primarily to those universities where uh, we have animal science or veterinary science related programs. So animal science, vet science are taught primarily at the university, agriculture and forestry university, Purvanchal university, and very interesting, from this year onward, Lumini University has started masters in agroforestry, so I think it's also related to some kind of feeding management. And now the Gandhaki University in Rho, I'll talk at the end how Gandhaki University could be part of this uh, total strength. Technical and vocational institutes are there, we know. We have Center for Technical Education and Vocational Training, public and private institutions under CTVT. There are technical skills, there are polytechnics, and these CTVT, they conduct the different types of diploma degrees and technical RCLC courses, short-term vocational training. They are somehow, not all, some are related to teaching in uh, animal science. So TU also offers some diploma level program. So that, that's the kind of higher educational institutions in Nepal in brief. I'll come one by one later, please, next. Uh, now let's start with agriculture and forest university. It's a kind of parent university in terms of livestock and agriculture. Uh, it was a land grant university first established in 2010 and roughly it produces 50 bachelor of veterinary science and AH graduates and 110 BSc agriculture graduates annually at Rampur with a number of master science and PhD students. My focus will be however only to the animal science scenario just, just to give you some reflection of agriculture courses also there. It offers the master's and PhD course in animal science uh, major divisions like animal nutrition, animal breeding, livestock production and management. Uh, total strengths vary, but sometimes it could be something like 35 annually. It offers masters in veterinary science and PhD courses in veterinary sciences, 
There are different different subdivision discipline departments and total students could be about 30 annually. And uh, you can say so these are some changing things, but 195 faculty students is currently exist at Agriculture and Forest University. An interesting thing is Agriculture and Forest University also have some constituent colleges and what they are named is College of Natural Resource Management. That's a common title. Uh, and College of Natural Resource Management uh, situated in Puran Kaski, the first one. And the same college is established in Sinduli, Pakribas, Bardibas, Khajura, and Rolpa. It enrolls 50 students in BSc AG program annually, but they don't have studied direct animal science or veterinary science related course there. Also, AFU run affiliated colleges situated in Jhapa, Itori, Lalitpur, Navalparasi, uh, Kolpur, and Surkhet with the similar annual intake. So what I'm talking is being a, a very fundamental university in terms of agriculture and forestry university, it offers variety of courses and there is a strong presence of animal science related degrees program. Next please. Right, so if you talk about Tribhuvan University, we know it's a very one and we all have been associated with Tribhuvan University in part of the history. Uh, TUIS established in 1972, offers bachelor's and master's and PhD, currently 110 from 2012. Uh, it has a VSCIG students at the Thadi Chiton and then 220 at Lamjung and Pokleva campus, but my focus is here also there on BBSC and AS program with the students of 50 annual intake in Pokliava campus. So there are more than 150 faculty members, you know, there has been a kind of conflict between Thruban University and Agriculture mm -hmm. and Forest University. Some of the legal issues are not settled, settled yet, but both the university parallelly run these yeah. programs. Also in Institute of Forestry and in Kathmandu Forestry College, Gokuleswara Agriculture and Animal Science campus, you can find some courses related to agriculture, but basically BBSC and AS program is run at Pokliava campus. That's the strength of Tribune University. What I'm trying to narrate is where you have universities, they can produce graduates in the field of veterinary science and animal husbandry. Okay, next please. Now, uh, you might know this thing. Uh, we have Purvanchal University in Rho, and especially there are two colleges, they're on agriculture, animal science related program. Uh, one is Himalayan College of Agriculture, Science and Technology, what we call HICAST, established in the year of 2000. Uh, they also have BSc Agricultural Program, Honors Program, but interestingly, BBSc and AS program is uh, there with the five years program and with the index of 48 students in annually. Uh, they also run Masters of Science in Meat Technology and Dairy Technology and Business Management. So what is seen is Purvanchal University is also for quite long time for example, two decades or more has been involving to produce animal science related graduates there. Next, please. Ramji? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, parallelly, on the Purvanchal University, we have Nepal Polytechnic Institutes, what we call NPI. It also is established in 1996 and affiliated to uh, Purvanchal University since 2011. And it also runs BSc Agriculture and BBSc and AS program. A distant intake is similar to ECAST. Plus, they also have 15 months technical certificate livestock GT program. So what you can see is uh, in terms of strength, Provencal University is also there. So if you look at the technical schools under CTVT, uh, institutes like the various technical schools and training center, technical colleges and institutes, annex schools, they are related to livestock sciences for diploma or short courses. And also there are degrees, proficiency diploma, Technical SLC, short term professional training, as I talked earlier, they are related to livestock science. So, this is what you can rough, roughly uh, think about the strength of universities. What I'm trying to narrate is 
if we talk about the universities and the program, and you can expect that, okay, their role to produce graduates might be related to, uh, in terms of contribution of livestock, promotion of livestock sector all in the country. Right. Uh, next, please. Never mind. This is okay, Ramji. Yeah. Um, so, if you look at in terms of engagement of these livestock related graduates or agriculture graduates broadly, uh, they are contributing by involving at jobs. For example, the research institutions, the research systems, if you look at the NARC, NARC as such has 62 research stations engaged to research on the disciplines, commodities of agriculture and ecology. Uh, and they are not um, excluded to the research program of livestock in terms of animal health or you know, production system. And extension institutions, the governmental extension office serves something like more than 11,000 farmers equals one technician in terms of ratio. Uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, large one. But still, the contribution is there. Universities and other educational organizations and institutions are the place for a job, but the space is comparatively less to uh, the other organizations, big organizations like the government and then uh, NAC organization. Local, national, and international NGOs, and then uh, different centers uh, related to economics or you know uh, Patterson sources. They are also some places for engagement, but uh, the contribution in terms of engagement might be less compared to the other. You have a little bit coming up the concept of agro-based industries, and also there are scenarios of self-engagement on agriculture, livestock keeping related job, uh, especially uh, for those graduates, but the, in terms of contribution, they might be quite limited, but it's still emerging. Just in a picture, if you have produced graduates, and you can think of about their engagement, and that's the scenario. And this engagement might reflect it well in terms of their contribution to promote livestock sector that I talked in the beginning, which is very, very difficult to measure directly, but you can just think of about the indirect role and overall contribution. Next, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now this is interesting. I can say that all the human resources produced by the universities are from Nepal and Nepalese universities. There could be 5-10% graduates from outside or abroad, maybe from India or the Pakistan, Bangladesh and Europe or America, but the strength is still largely count from the Nepalese university. So human resource issues, and if you look at the Ministry and Livestock Department, total human resource at Livestock Service Department uh, is a 776. This is uh, uh, at least the latest information, sometimes the number might be changed. At Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock, uh, you have 26, and then Agriculture Information Center, seven. So, uh, because we have the Livestock Service Department and Ministry, at Ministry, there are few number, but at Livestock Service, because that's related to extension, the number is quite high. On the Livestock Service Department, uh, that's only a scenario. You may not be interested to learn about all those uh, classes, officer, but the first class are the seniors, and second class, and class third officer, this number is quite high. Non-officer level, their number is quite high. And even the non-officer level, second uh, class uh, service provider are also few in number. So what it is seen is, you can just to think about the strength of graduates. And these graduates related to livestock only, I'm not counting these graduates in terms of agriculture. So what we can think is, maybe uh, there is an attempt uh, to provide enough I, I should say graduates in, in the area of livestock service and then production. So that can be reflected from this figure. Next, please. So uh, if you look at the entire country, uh, it's a little bit broader one. Uh, Nepal Veterinary Council directly has this kind of information. Ministry of Animals, uh, Agriculture and Livestock Development, province level and municipalities. Okay. Okay, covering all these three, 500 veterinary graduates and livestock officers are actively working, and 4,000 paravets are actively working. So the registered animal health workers number is 1,396. Majority of them are veterinary uh, doctors, and they are serving as some people serving as the village level animal health worker, including the clinical services, 
and their strength is something 20,000. So um, what is uh, important to recall with this figure is the ministry assaults and uh, at the province level and the municipalities level. Now, uh, once the country has uh, restructured into federal system, so we have a, there is a kind of uh, confusion still not the things are well settled because uh, the constitution has given the full right to develop municipalities and that is a government also. And at the province also, that is another government. So we have 753 governments in total. Uh, these agriculture and livestock related graduates are placed in different areas. I'll show you one table, but it's not much clear. But what is uh, important to consider is the government, whether it's a uh, federal government or whether it's a province or the municipality's government, they all have a serious concern about the development of livestock sector. And in that sense, the role of graduates, uh, livestock veterinary graduates is quite emerging. If you look at the province-wise technical position, it's only livestock related at the different office unit. You can see at the ministry level, at the uh, department level and village level, uh, farms and training center. If you look in the province-wise at ministry level, the equal number are placed there in all province one to uh, Sudar Pashtim province. At the department level, a little bit variation, but I think it's also equally there. But at the uh, village level, uh, municipalities level, the numbers are quite different. Uh, it's depending on whether which, which province is a little bit more smart or focusing to arrange this livestock related development. And also there are similar types of farms and training center. So see, uh, this information reflect the fact that under federal system also livestock graduates are well placed and the government has been focusing uh, to emphasize the development of livestock sector. To that sense, the universities have a great role to produce qualified and competitive graduates. So that's the kind of reflection. And then I can tell you later how this has been reflected in terms of total production of the livestock produces in the country level. Next, please. Well, uh, these are the some glimpses of the policies and plans. You know, there are several policies and plans, more than dozens at the national level. Uh, you can just have a look. I'm not gonna talk each in detail, but just a kind of reflection, starting from 2004, uh, even right now in 2011, 21, or, uh, you know, uh, lately in the 13, uh, all these policies have been developed and these plans and policies are the guidelines for, uh, development of livestock sector. So some of the interesting policy like livestock insurance policy and national land use policy, agroforestry or seed regulations policy, dairy development policy, they are directly related with the promotion of livestock sector. Next, please. Then uh, you can just have a think how the formulated livestock policy benefits to the farmer. Uh, here again, the graduates are related because they are the employee. And obviously, livestock policy areas are determined, and there are very important fields like breeding, livestock insurance, veterinary animal health service, socioeconomic issues related at, uh, points and areas to consider, dairy business, and agribusiness promotion. All these important policies are uh, formulated policy related, main focus centers are related to new livestock policy and other policy reforms. And they are directly related to dividends or the benefits, uh, either whether it's related to poverty alleviation or sustainable livelihood or the women empowerment issues. And that's how that is directly linked to the livestock farms. So in this sense, uh, the policy, formulated policy works broadly. This is a, a kind of uh, concept that how the government has been managing the concept of livestock development in terms of farmers' benefit. Next, please. Now, it's uh, difficult to read from the air. Sorry for this form. In order to promote the livestock feeds and fodder activities, which is one of the very important parts of, uh, you know, the animal rearing, there were several projects executed by Nepal government in the past, and also some of them are working now here. Uh, no need to go one by one again, starting from 1968, like the Trisili Watershed Project supported by the FAO. If you come at the latest figure, forest mission pro program has been executed 
four years for 45 district. And in 17 to 23, we have Nepal livestock sector innovation project supported by the World Bank. So this is the latest scenario. Uh, whether these project and activities are there uh, in the department level or ministry level, the concept is the government is prioritizing to develop this sector. And there are universities or the higher educational institutions, they've been continuously producing human resources, they can work directly under this project area, uh, whether they work in national level or municipalities level. Next, please. Current research areas, no need to reflect. We all know about these things. Mostly they focus on feeding or evaluation of the native forages or health related activities, identifying toxic plants, uh, determining chemical com com composition. This is only reflection. I have just given you some points of animal nutrition feeds and feeding management and lipid health related issues. But there are several of such current research areas where our graduate students are working. This is only reflection. If you are interested, I can provide further research areas. That's the same thing uh, that covers the improved utilization and other technology. Well, uh, how they work, if you look in the history and also at the present time, common technology dissemination means used by the livestock officer are the demonstration. It's a little bit the old types of fashion, but it still is working well. Quality testing program, many key distribution and the demonstration, organizing uh, different competition program, training, and you know, uh, different types of, this is also again, reflections to feeds and feeding management. Similar things are done in animal health, animal breeding, and the livestock production and management. The list goes long and long. Next please. Same, the popular program implemented by the Department of Livestock Service. Uh, so that gives a little bit more reflection of uh, sheep and goat promotion to animal feed support, commercial forage, all those things. Now, yes, please, next, next, next slide. That's important. Now, what you can think, this is the reflection of outcome. This is the main uh, presentation part of the uh, today's talk that I would like to focus on this particular slide. And that gives the outcome, the change in livestock population. And still the question is how we can claim that these changes are mainly related with the universities and then graduates. But obviously you can count their indirect role. There are hundreds of efforts by the government from several means, but what happens with all those uh, involvement of graduates, production of graduates by the universities and then government works is that, see here the population in 2008, the cattle population was 7.17 million and in 10 years time, 18, it remains a little bit since 7.3. And in terms of percent in 10 years, 2.8% change. And in terms of change in population, percent per year, 0.28. The buffalo population, which is one of the very important species and commodity in Nepalese farming system. See here, the change in population percent is 12.7. It's quite encouraging. Each year percent change is 1.28. Uh, we have been facing several problems to maintain the population, but still that there is a positive indication that the efforts are seen in conserving buffaloes and promoting buffaloes. In case of sheep, it's a little bit uh, downfall here. Their population remains a constant sometimes. The growth rate is minus. So this is a uh, things that we should be very carefully uh, analyzing the country to why and how you can improve this scenario. In terms of goat, it's a tremendous 37% changes in population in the last 10 years. In terms of swine also tremendous similar percent changes. And the chicken, no need to say, we've been self-sufficient in several areas. That's why 195% changes in the last 10 years. So duck is uh, slowly making progress. This is the number in terms of number. Let's say in terms of production. Outcome in terms of milk, meat, and egg production in Nepal. So let's look at the livestock products, buffalo, chicken, pork, chicken, dog, and then milk, buffalo, to cattle, buffalo, and then eggs. So same story here. Let's go in the change per year percent. The meat, buffalo meat, positive 1.8 percent. Chicken quite good. Pork quite good. Interestingly, that number well reflects the production here, 26 percent. Dog is also quite good in positive line. The total is 4.32. So in terms of cattle milk, that's 8.21% change per year. 
and in Buffalo, it's a 2.97, it still is the positive direction. The total strength is 4.45. Now, no need to say about the eggs. That's a tremendous improvement in terms of production. Now, you can see to have this kind of outcome, what would be the role of graduates or the employee or extension worker working in the area of animal health or livestock production management, nutrition or fever? This is the things that you can analyze and interpret. Uh, but what I could say is that the role of universities or technology dissemination, technology generation in terms of uh, research station or universities as such or government extension program would be much valuable. This is what we can claim only. Next, please. Outcome are there also in terms of AI coverage. It was started in 1718. Uh, and then this outcome has been quite good for buffalo, goat, pigs, and chicken. More than 0.66 million doses of semen of species have been produced in 1890. Next, please. Outcome in improved breed coverage of total 13% are cattle and 25.9% buffaloes are improved. That's quite good in terms of buffalo breed production, uh, making them modern and then improved. Good fraction of goat, pigs, and poultry are there. If you look at the history, that's all right. History of vaccine production and vaccine also quite encouraging. Uh, Nepal has been successfully coming forward in terms of producing variety of vaccine, including from uh, RP uh, to PPR. And then now in 2012, FMD national vaccine started there. This is quite good reflection. National feed balance is very important to consider here. We had something about 36% uh, deficit of feed in terms of TDN in 20 years ago, but now those deficit has been dropped down to 20.05%. The latest figure says this. So whatever we have been working is tremendous. Livestock sector contributes 11.5% to the total and then 25% to the GDP, something about 4% to the national GDP significantly improve the numbers and productivity of the livestock and poultry. That's a good outcome and contribute significantly in terms of food supply and nutritional security by providing meat, milk, egg, and drug power, and also uh, generating uh, income and self sort of uh, employment. But there are challenges. It's not so easy to say that everything is running very smoothly. We have declined skills and practical know-how of the livestock graduates technician. I not to say that in terms of quality assurance or counting how you can say, uh, but this is how uh, the farmers have been perceived that the quality is a little bit something like to say. Many graduates do not enter to return to livestock production job. Uh, rather, they would like to go for a white color job. Present capacity of the agricultural human resources is seriously inadequate. Still, because I, I saw you about the ratio of the farming communities and then graduates. Course curricula at these universities are not regularly updated. This is a, I think, global challenge, and especially Nepalese universities are facing a hardship in terms of timely revision of universities' course curricula to meet the need of the second generation issues or the modern society, which might have the curtail. So that's one of the great challenges that we can count about. Next, please. Lack of the common venues and weekend collaboration among the livestock experts and technician uh, in changed federal context. This is very serious issue. People are getting confused and we have the very limited horizontal and vertical forum where we can see uh, different organizations involving in livestock sector. There is inadequate infrastructure and funds for research. Serial research dominates the livestock soft sector in national research system. So that is uh, one of the cartel, I should say, uh, how we can uh, cross this issue and then come forward. Insufficient and inefficient region specific technologies, we are not yet been able to work out to find out to determine the different types of technologies fit to the different eco ecological zones. Agro-based industries and commercializing are not developed properly. This is just uh, on the mark. The concept of innovation is just emerged and low efficiency and effectiveness of uh, the policy that I talk about, the several policy formulated, but in terms of education, still there are uh, some, some problem, I should say, in terms of organizing them well. Now, what I can say right now is that I would just like to again reflect back to the introduction of university. Under this context, Gandaki University has emerged. Gandaki University is working to contribute 
by producing quality human resources, it's just working. We have a history of only two years. I don't know how long it will take to contribute meaningfully in producing graduates. For the promotion and development of livestock sector to the provinces, to the regions, and the entire nation. People might have some think like that. This is a state university, so its uh, function will be limited only to the state or province. And that's not true. Obviously, it will be more focused to the province because it's established and funded by the provincial government. But its uh, role is uh, widened in terms of coverage. Our graduates can serve, researchers can serve in the regions and nation and globally also. That is well reflected in our vision and mission, right? Next, please. So, now, the Bachelor of Livestock Entrepreneurship Program. I am proud to announce uh, officially in this the NAPA platform that in this uh, widely viewed seminar webinar session, Gandaki University is working to develop Bachelor of Livestock Entrepreneurship course. It's the first time in the history of Nepal and probably the first time in the history of several regions of the world. Why we need these types of program? Just few points I want to see here. The veterinary science and livestock related education in Nepal is mainly focused on training students for employment. You can see from my presentation also. And they are focused in diverse professional positions, including white colors job in government, non-governmental organization, and also the private sector. Well, that's all right. There is no harm in these things. We should go in that line also. Government should continue. However, more than half of the students intend to either pursue graduates or postgraduate degree or seek better job opportunities outside of Nepal. Although a significant number of graduates are unemployed or take low skill foreign jobs, and that makes some kind of confusion how we can engage our graduates in the country. The government of Nepal has made significant investment, you can recall all those my presentation, an agriculture and veterinary science program is continued also to develop human resources, but this has not boosted expected productivity or enhanced economic development. See, that's the challenge. There is a critical need for a socially innovative and entrepreneurial approach in curricula, in agriculture and animal science program. That is what we would like to focus in Gandhi University. A deep appreciation for the opportunities offered by agriculture, including the livestock entrepreneurship, the must be installed. That's the need of our which encompass not only production, but also value addition and marketing. So under this context, what we are trying is how we will execute Bachelor of Livestock Entrepreneurship Program. Just to reflect, next slide, please. It's the second, second last slide, please. Right, so there are salient features of BLE program. The proposed bachelor's program will enable graduates to initiate animal production enterprises. That is what we will focus. It encompasses basic concepts of animal production while making use of new technological innovation. So out of the four year course, the first three years of the program address basic concepts of animal production because it's uh, based on plus two science intake. They will focus to breeding, management, nutrition, health, and processing and marketing of products that is a little bit weakened in our current uh, curricula. Plus, courses on soft skill and gender, socioeconomic issues through the experiential learning that goes well beyond the traditional classroom. So we will, we will try to make an industrial linkage or the farmers linkage uh, to have this kind of entrepreneurial learning. And the final year will focus on an entrepreneurship practicum uh, in need areas of the province and the nation. Uh, we have to identify the interest of the uh, students and also the opportunities. Each student or the group of students will develop a lifestyle business plan. That's a new concept, which includes the demand and supply analysis for five years, at least coming five years, consumer taste and preferences, capital requirement, cash flow analysis, profitability, risk analysis, because we would like to involve our graduates in entrepreneurship. What's the lacking current entrepreneurship system is, they are having the least knowledge on these economic activities, financial planning, and then analysis about marketing and plan. So that will be the silent features of this program. We are still developing. Um, please, uh, I can't right now tell when we will start this program. We, uh, we need a support hand from every, everywhere, including the NAPA, um, bona fide members and experts there, we will keep in touch in the coming days for that. 
in the, in, in, in the line with developing this program. So what we think is uh, proudly Gandhagi University is uniquely poised for this program and to become a world-class university because it is established as an autonomous institution and it is running with the concept of board of trustee, which is also kind of first in the country. So we don't have a direct political interference from the government. Uh, the, the leader of the university is the chancellor, the head is the chancellor, full time office bearer, and which is nominated on the basis of competition. The vice chancellor register are nominated on the basis of competition. So there is a least space for political involvement. And because of the board of trustees, very easy to approach and then very uh, effective in terms of making decision. So we, we, we expect that we, we may have this kind of opportunity to serve the country through these courses. And there may be several other courses and training program in row that Kandagi University might be linking in, to the other universities of country. With this little Ganthan Manthan, thank you very much for your precise time. Uh, I have completed my presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Bishisar, for your very nice and very informative and lot of information and really good timing. Awesome presentation. Again, we really appreciate your time. Uh, and, you know, despite your busy schedule and and uh, agreeing with our, our request, that was really, that is really appreciated, uh, Bishisar. Good, thank you. Uh, Ramji sir, before I hand over to you, I just want to have a quick question here. Uh, our business, I would like basically want to know how do you see the goat uh, farming in, in in Nepal versus the around Gandhagi uh, zone area? I think there's a lot of interest in in commercial goat farming, and I was just curious, what are the you know potential new breed that people are trying to use? Thank you. Okay, shall I, shall I try to answer? Please go That's ahead. Bit, yeah. yeah okay. go ahead. Uh, thank you very much for this very wonderful question. Actually, you know, the goat farming is getting popular um, among the young graduates and also especially the returnees from the, uh, I should say, the Gulf countries or the abroad, sometime from the Israel or developed countries also in terms of establishing goat farming. Uh, but the concern is, Goat development policy has been formulated. Uh, I think it will be effectively implemented later on slowly to the different government system. Right now, you can have a mixed kind of scenarios. You have a native goats, what we call khari goat, which is very important. And that's a very interesting to all of us, especially who loves meat, goat meat is very famous. But in terms of increasing productivity lately, uh, government has focused to promote boar goat, which is a very famous goat in Australia, in South Africa and other countries. Uh, the farmers are actively engaged in uh, developing the pool of uh, this breed in terms of disseminating, um, you know, this breed to the farming level also. But the concern is if the farmers fail to recognize the maintaining need of curry goats, sometimes there could be a danger of uh, loss of the germ plasm. Uh, curry goats are established and adapted here for hundreds and thousands of years. So we don't know the history of this board growth, how long and how nicely it will be adapted in the area. But what is important is in terms of making a good crossbreeding program and developing the breed for the meat purpose and selling them without distorting the main parental line is the necessary area that the scientists are focusing. So there are lots of activities. FR International has been supporting this program uh, country-wise in different, different, different districts. And hopefully, uh, this approach will be very effective in terms of uh, reducing the export of goat meat from 14 Arab per year, Nepalese rupees, down to 4 Arab. That's quite interesting to say. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Tiwari sir, then uh, I will facilitate yes. the, uh, this uh, upcoming or uh, this um, uh, interaction session. Uh, I didn't see any question in here. But sorry, I'm question. let me read it. Ma, yeah, upasti sapai short saathi alaki anud garsu bani. Aile jun abo novas saale present garnu bhai. Present garnu bhai. Kuma kune yah lai this pretty nice question ke isa wahsaga jawab or sa answer chahi ne. Sab bani. Dekhi post ye chat box ma post garna sabnoonsa ra 
पची टाइम रहा है वने आमी फेरी यहाँ ला ऑन मिर्गर ना लगाया रा सीधे पनी क्वेश्चन करना सकने होने सा मैं पहले पिथामर दहाल सार बड़ा क्वेश्चन आया तो सा इंडी टा गुड प्रेजेंटेशन यू मेंशन अबाउट फीड क्वालिटी टेस्टिंग प्रोग्राम मेनी नेचुरल टॉक्सिन माइक्रोटॉक्सिन्स आर ट्रांसफर्ड टू म uh, could you help uh, to implement these two issues in the universities? One other one, the issues and the issue is the boarding issue. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Azur Lai Dheri Thasa Yobarema, Ra Jinian Kuro Kipani Obanda. Uh, we are few in number in terms of institutions and facilities. Then I will be able to do Toxin ko samasya, toxicity ko samasya, fit quality ko samasya, yek dame jare cha. Whatever facility available to analyze these things at the central level, yo enough chai na. Gandaki University has started research center, proudly saying to uh, this fact that uh, I'm early directorate of research established by Asun from the very beginning. And also we have new type of center that we call innovation center or university or ma innovation center so just like then don't like university listening for a scale of everybody i'm lee suru where i'm sorry your innovation center man lay no air camera innovation going in my three we know analytical kura of farming community my question is on a second so through the best use of our available resources and funding is my make them a serious song let us work together through the kine uh the animal science for Community level activities training or case to go on also on the Gandhi University lay this more obviously your toxicity some of the money to feel quality for all I'm yet this person sir. Thank you. Thank you. No, sir. All the questions are the resource key line. My mother will keep us better. One listen to us. I'm curious to know what is the average resource from a professor currently has how university is thinking to increase the involvement of professors and graduate students in research if current researchers are not enough? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Sir. Uh, I am seeing one of our advisor of uh, Chancellor, uh, Honorable Chancellor of Gondagi University, Dr. Medani Vandari. Uh, we are working to develop a kind of fund endowment research endowment napa but i am the very good our sick days home indirect direct help me by right here so so our motto is to establish research fund endowment fund that will be dedicated to provide a certain fixed amount of money to our faculty graduates or our international national collaboration opening you say a little bit planning or this home i will let him lay a rick faculty go like you anybody got to go some research and like in the u.s so without research nobody can be a faculty at Gandhi University. Rakam se banna heri ali thore nahi cha. Thore budget bhai ta pani. Kam se kam yota project ko lagi. Nepali rupay ek dead lakh ko se banda vasta gaurne hai. Arrange gaurde isho. Faculty or like. That's a seed money. Ayin. Tis te limit gaurde na ki. Tis se te tini mati aadhi na parse badi chai na. Just to competition ko lagi. Kola versa ko lagi. I am trying to rakhya so. Amro. Medin Narsa wale ki bande ho nsa. Medin Narsa ke azir eid gaurna sa. Eid gaurna. Tanunsa, as you are on mute, very presentations and Ababa, her wonderful. Only go sat here, Unola, one more with them curious. Well, no, I practically have never seen it. Novasar is ever no exactly day line mouth. Um, yeah, so I love special agra on road of a given. Amile, you go to university, I stab on a bako, Bakar de Vasawa. तर अब गौरव का साथ वन्नु पर सा आमिले कम से कम तीन टा प्रोग्राम से अब फुल रन क्लास आमिले रन करी सके अनि रिसर्च को पूरा मार्च है मो बड़ी रिसर्च में इन्वॉल्व त्यां अमेरिका में उधर कहीं पे मेरे रिसर्च में बड़े इन्वॉल्व आ हो यहाँ पर नहीं मेरो रोल वास्तव में रिसर्च रा इनोवेशन में हो अतः आमी सब एको नवसर को मेरे चांसल साहब को सब ऐसा ना कामिर के बड़ा इंटेंशन किया सब नहीं हामी से गंडकी यूनिवर्सिटी कितनी धेरे यूनिवर्सिटी होता है उधर नया यूनिवर्सिटी स्थापना बाबा सा 
अब यो यूनिवर्सिटी स्थापना भैस इसको एटा नया कहीं ना कहीं यूनिकनेस हमीर सब अरुण अगर सर ने भन्न भाई हमीसंग इनोवेशन सेंटर छ रिसर्च को अरुण मानेला हायर कर पैला रिसर्च को डाइरेक्टर लायर कर हमी रिसर्च को मेन फोकस हो तर तो रिसर्च को मेन फोकस में हजार को कस्त खाल सब कि सहयोग चाहिए अब हमीर लाई यूनिवर्सिटी एक्सपेन्ड कर अथवा ब्रांडिंग हजर जस्त विद्वत वर्ग हम हमीस डाइरेक्टली इनडाइरेक्टली भैदि भादा जी हमीर तेल नया बाटो वेब दिशा भाई मैं लगे मैं नव सर ने कुरा में कहीं थप्न पर्ने के एक्जैक्टली कम्प्लिटली सहयोग चाहिए क्या बेसिकली तो सारी कोर एवं शब्द में भन्न पर्दा खेल योर सपोर्ट मेरी निशार ये हम नापा रो गंडक यूनिवर्सिटी को संग हम अलग कराऊला पीछे फिर है कोलाब्रेसन को रिसर्च को ये हम एफयू टी को धेरे साथी हम अब सर तो ठाप नापा ने रिसर्च मिनी ग्रांड ये थोड़े सीड में नहीं हो तर अंडर ग्रैड स्टूडेंटर दिए हम काम कर इट इज भेरी इंपैक्टफुल मैं तीन जानकारी कराएं अर्क हम यहाँ धर कम्प्लिमेंट कैंक यू दिने या किसी को अर्क सुबोध अधिकारी क्वेश्चन छाइस प्रेजेंटेशन क्लैड टू सी द कोर्सेस लाइक बीएलई बैचलर्स इन लाइफ स्टक एंटरप्रनरशिप आर कमिंग अंडर जीयू एज द बी सी अफ द जीयू वुड यू प्लीज ब्रिफली एक्सप्लेन व्हाट अदर रिलेटेड कोर्सेस आर बीइंग अफर आर कमिंग सुन वाले तो बाहेक अर कुछ तेजो पाइपलाइन में या यहाँ थर्ड कर छोटकारी में लिस्ट मत थैंक यू मैं अभी कति समय भन्न सकता मैं नन एग्रिकल्चर कोर्स टेक्निकल कोर्स एग्रिकल्चर लाइफ स्टेस रिलेटेड हमें मस्टर्स प्रोग्राम फोकस करने अस्त भर्खर हमीर टेन इयर स्ट्रैटेजी प्लान कंक्लूड गये इसको ड्राफ्ट लाइसेंस मिटिंग वर्कसप आउट भैस हम सावजनिक साइलेंट फिचर वेबसाइट में भी हो नापा सब हम सेयर करूँ लोपन एक्सेस चीज पब्लिक लेवल में आँच तेस में मस्टर्स लेवल को हम अब एग्रिकल्चर लाइफ स्टक का अरुण कोर्स के सोच भादा सी सेवरल यूनिवर्सिटीज आर अफरिंग अंडर ग्रेजुएट कोर्स अब तो पुल धे बना भाग अलग हमीर इन्वेस्टमेंट लस्टर्स रीएचडी में फोकस ग्यौं हाई क्वालिटी को ग्रेजुएटर निकाल सकता रेस को लगी धेरे इन्वेस्टमेंट भी नपर्ला कोलाबरेशन भी कर सकता अल पोसिबल फील्ड एनिमल साइंस को मेजर फील्ड रग्रिकल्चर को मेजर इन्क्लूडिंग प्लांट प्रोटेक्शन हरिकल्चर ये विषय में हमें मस्टर्स प्रोग्राम को प्लांग थैंक यू सर क्वेश्चन धेर हजार छोटकारी में अर्क डीपी ढकाल सर हाउ ओनली वन इयर अफ स्पेशलाइजिंग इन एंटरप्रनरशिप और बीएलई यू थिंक विल बी हेल्पफुल टू डेवलप एंटरप्रनरशिप इन नेपाल डू यू हेव मैन पावर टू ट्रेन दिज ग्रेजुएट्सन सर पक्के हजर अब यह कोर्स अफर करना थाली सकूँ ये प्लान बना हो हजर मैं कि अनाउंसमेंट वास्तव में फर्स्ट टाइम हो ये अलग फर्मल फोरम में हम बाहर लिया प्रिपेरेटरी स्टेज में छो कोर्स डेवलप भैस स्किलेटन मत बंद तर हम के भाई एक वर्ष में पैला हम कोर्स बना नेशनल लेवल को वर्कसप कर तेस में धेरे रिटेड स्टेक होल्डर त्या मोडिफाई होगा यह तो प्रिलिमिनरी खाका मत हो एक वर्ष को एंटरप्रिनियरशिप ने पुग्देन भाई वी विल हेव समथिंग टू एड तेस में हम ओपन छो प्लीज कस्ट भाला अनाउंसमेंट हो रहा ताकि सहयोगी हाथ और सोच एक ठाकुर मिलना सकोस् भेज हिडन इंट्रेस्ट भी हो यही यही ठैक्क इसमें इस हमीर प्रिमिनरी नहीं फेज में छो यो क्षेत्र हजार को सपोर्ट चाहिए नो भैर हो भाई खाले तो हम हम नमस्कार हमीर मिले हजार इमेलक रूप में हमीर पठाऊ कि जब हम अलग टाइम में आँच अभी हजर हजार को इसमें सपोर्ट चाहिए क्या वास्तव में हाउ वी कैन गो अड थैंक यू अर्क दिलीप पंथी सर वंडरफुल प्रेजेंटेशन ओइल डाउन यू से देर वॉज सम कन्फ्यूजन बिट्विन लोकल एंड प्रोविन्सि लेवल गवर्नमेंट कन्फ्यूजन मीन्स देर आर सम डुप्लिकेशन आई थिंक इन सर्विसेज 
अनि कुनै चाहिँ ग्याप पनि भएको जस्तो हामीले महसुस गरेका छौ सायद सबैले धेरैले गर्नु भएको छ व्हाट इफ द इम्प्लिमेन्टेसन थ्रु डिस्ट्रिक्ट व्हिच क्यान मेडिएट बिटवीन दिस टु गभर्नमेन्ट भनेर उहाँले चाहिँ डिस्ट्रिक्टलाई एउटा मेडिएटिङ रोल दियो भने त्यसलाई ब्रिज गर्नलाई यो जुन ग्याप छ या कन्फ्युजन छ त्यो त्यो के होला भन्नु भएको छ सरको केही छ अनुभव छ यसमा थ्याङ्क यू यसमा दिलीप डरसावले भन्नु भएको एकदमै राम्रो कुरा हो हजुरहरूले सुन्नु भएको पनि छ यो कृषि ज्ञान केन्द्र भनेर गभर्नमेन्टले पहिला सुरुमा दुईवटा जिल्लाहरूको बिचमा पर्ने गरेर सत्तालिस पैँतालिस थियो अहिले फेरि स्लोली जिल्ला जिल्लामै एउटा एउटा डेभलप हुँदैछ कन्फ्युजन भन्न खोजेको कुरो के भन्दा नेपालभरिको सबै कुराहरूमा युनिभर्सिटी मात्रै होइन रिसर्च स्टेसन अथवा जतासुकै देशले चाहिँ नयाँ संविधान अङ्गीकार गरेको छ नियम कानुनहरू नियमावलीहरू लजहरू बायोलजहरू डिरेक्टिभ्सहरू चाहिँ पुरानै छन् कि बनिसक्या छैन समस्या त्यहाँ छ त्यो कहिले बन्ने हुन् राजनीतिक क्षेत्रका प्रतिनिधित्वसँग सम्बन्धित हुने चिज चाहिँ नबनाइकन नहुने भावनाले त्यो प्रायोरिटीमा आइसक्यो हामीसँग गभर्नमेन्टको स्ट्रक्चर क्लियर छ अब इलेक्सनमा पनि जान्छ फेरि नेक्स्ट इलेक्सन हुन्छ को कहाँ आउने सबै चिज क्लियर छ तर देश सञ्चालनका अरू क्षेत्रहरू संविधानमा भएको फुड सवर्निटीको कुरो इम्प्लोयमेन्टको कुरा युनिभर्सिटीका कुरा नार्कका कुराहरूको मेजर समस्या चाहिँ कन्ट्री त्यहाँ फेस गरिराखेको छ यो मेरो एनालिसिस हो संविधान नयाँ लागू भएको छ नियम कानुनहरू पुरा नै छन् एकदमै बिल्कुल सायद सरले भनेको उसलाई त्यो अघि पहिला पनि के अरे एकचोटि भन्नु भएको थियो हजुरले त्यो हाम्रो पोलिसीहरू थुप्रो बनेको छ ऐन कानुनहरू बनेको छ ऐन कानुनहरू राम्रोसँग इम्प्लिमेन्ट हुन नसक्नु र पोलिसी राम्रोसँग इम्प्लिमेन्ट नहुन नसक्नु भने सायद त्यसैको होला हामीले पोलिसीहरू त बनायौँ तर इम्प्लिमेन्ट गर्ने इम्प्लिमेन्टर जो हुनु हो नि उनीहरूलाई ट्रेन गर्ने हाम्रो मेकानिजम भएन सायद होइन अब ट्रेनमा नै एडिक्वेटली त्यो मानेमा है ट्रेनिङ नै नभएको भन्ने त होइन अर्को यहाँ बुद्धि केवाली सरबाट एउटा क्वेसन छ यो यसरी वर्क फोर्स चाहिँ तयार गर्ने राम्रो कुरा हो तर हाउ दे आर प्रिपेयर टु ट्रान्जिसन टु द कम्पिटेटिभ वर्क फोर्स टु फिल द डिमान्ड फ्रम लाइफ स्टक ओनर एन्ड लेट मी रिड इट प्रोड्युसिङ ग्रेजुएट इज सर्टनली इम्पोर्टेन्ट to meet the workforce demand but more important is how they are prepared to transition to the competitive workforce to fulfill the demand from livestock owner and their retention in the country ke esma sar ko ke sar hamle produce garne ta bhaneu tara unile ke will they be competitive or will they stay in the country thank you yesma maile dherai bolna nachayeko chai kina bhanda स्टिल वी हेव टू वर्क आउट अ लड अफ थिंग्स इश्यूज अलग यो धमिलो धमिलो अलग संग्लो संग्लो होने थाले पे बोलने रमाइल आंथ्य अलग धमिल पानी तईपन कुरो के हो भाजा अब भन्न हमीर को स्ट्रेन्थ फर्स्ट इयर को सैवरल इयरसम शायद हमें तीस चालीस जान भाग बड़ी ग्रेजुएटर ये स्किल में लियान सकते हैं अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंटर तो मार्सिव स्किल ने रिसर्च पुग्देन त्यहाँनिर एउटा च्यालेन्ज छ त्यसले ट्रान्जिसनल च्यालेन्ज अथवा त्यो मिट गर्ने भन्ने कुरा जुन क्वेसन गर्नुभयो त्यसले सायद त्यसको कन्ट्रिब्युसन एकदम सानो हुनसक्छ तर के मैले एक्सपेक्ट गरेको भन्दा नयाँ कन्स्टिट्युसन अनुसार हायर एजुकेसनको सम्पूर्ण अधिकार चाहिँ स्टेट गभर्नमेन्टलाई छ अहिले भन्न त त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय केही विश्वविद्यालयले हामी केन्द्रीय विश्वविद्यालय भन्ने चलन छ तर संविधानले त्यस्तो भन्दैन प्लस टू लेवलको एजुकेसन चाहिँ पालिकामा सम्पूर्ण अधिकार छ दरबन्दी क्रिएट गर्नेदेखि लिएर गएर थाई गर्ने सबै कुराहरू र हायर लेवलको एजुकेसन टेक्निकल नन टेक्निकल सबै प्रोभिन्स गभर्नमेन्टले गर्ने भन्ने छ त्यसलाई लिएर अहिले गण्डकी युनिभर्सिटीको पछि पछि चाहिँ थुप्रै युनिभर्सिटीहरू स्टेट गभर्नमेन्ट स्टेट युनिभर्सिटीहरू खोल्नेवाला छन् केही समय लाग्ला अनि हामीले चाहिँ एउटा लिड रोल गर्ने मौका पाइराखेका छौँ यसका अप्ठ्यारा पनि हामीले च्यालेन्ज पनि भोगिराखेका छौँ अब यसबाट चाहिँ केही बाटो देखाउन सकियो भने अरू युनिभर्सिटीहरूले पनि त्यसमा यी प्रोग्रामहरूलाई कन्टिन्युसली लैजालाम र पुराना नयाँ सबै मिलेर देशको आवश्यकतालाई चाहिँ सहयोग पुग्ला भन्ने हो अब एउटा युनिभर्सिटीले लो स्केलबाट केही वर्षमा मात्रै त हजुरले भनेको सही कुराहरू हो त्यति फुल्ली प्रिपेयर्ड नहुन पनि सक्छौँ बट दाट्स द मिसन थ्याङ्क यू नभ सर मलाई मैले नभ सरलाई रिक्वेस्ट के पनि गर्छु भन्दा यु वर्क इन अर यु आर स्टिल वर्किङ इन एएफ यू अथवा एफिलिएटेड टु एएफ यू अनि हजुरले टिइएसमा पनि काम गर्नुभयो हजुरले यो क्वेसनको रेस्पोन्ड गर्दा अलिअलि ते त्यतातिरको पनि भन्दा कि जिइयुको मात्र नभएर त्यताको पनि अनुभव र राखिदिनु भयो भने रिलेट गरिदिनु भयो 
फेरी बाट लिया गंडक मत वास्तव में सानों रूप में छे डिपुटेशन में हो मैं आई एम प्रोफेसर अफ एग्रिकल्चर फरेस्ट यूनिवर्सिटी मैं कोलाबोरेशन में काम कर ग्रेजुएट मैं सुपरवाइज कर भूमि सर हम संगे मिले डॉक्टर शिविरजी टीम में काम कर गुरु मैं तो महागुरु भू हम जोशी सर हो एज में हमें एनर्जी रिफोर्ट सारा चीज में सहयोग साथी सब होना इस कारण एफयू टीयू टीयू को मैं पूरा करें पक्ली हवा देखि लेकर सके संग हमें कनेक्टिविटी लुज करा ठीक है सर अर्क केशव भट्टरायजी क्वेश्चन सर विथ सो मेनी ग्रेजुएट्स इमर्जिंग इच इयर फ्रम डिफ्रेंट इंस्टिट्यूशन इन नेपाल हाउ पोसिबल इट इज फर दिज ग्रेजुएट्स टू फाइंड जब इन द प्राइवेट सेक्टर बिकज द गवर्नमेंट जब आर वेरी लिमिटेड अर्क क्वेश्चन मैं वहाँ को फिर तो पढ़ी हाल सीन्स मेनी ग्रेजुएट्स आर लुकिंग फर जब लेटस एस्यूम दे विल बी इंगेज इन एनिमल प्रडक्शन इन दैट सिनारी Do you see any possibilities of exporting gold and other, I mean, livestock or livestock products, for example, halal meats to the Middle East in the near future? एक दम रामरो किस्सा सर को प्रश्न प्राइवेट सेक्टर में आइले जॉब और कम थी देखीं सर किसी वहीं रहा मिले या एंटरप्रेन्योरशी प्रोग्राम लाइक से इंडस्ट्री टाइप करने साथ ही बनी हो बने फिर अल यहाँ कुरा आयो अगे हम रिशा ने भन्न भाई ए एफयू लिशने कुरे छेन हमीर के प्रोजेक्ट तैं रन भैर मरिश डाइडर्स भादा खेल इनोटल भाई प्रोजेक्ट हो तो इनोवेशन रिटेड प्रोजेक्ट को मुख्य उद्देश्य के हो तो भादा फिर तभी हमें भैई गई रखो टीचिंग रिसर्च एक्सटेन्सन जो ट्राइपेट्रिक रिनेसन भन्थ अंसार पुग्देन भर प्लस इंडस्ट्रियल लिंकेज जोड़े भाजा अब इंडस्ट्री में जान को लगी तो बैकग्राउंड चाहिए तेस कारण नहीं प्राइवेट एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप प्राइवेट जब प्राइवेट इंडस्ट्रीसंग अब हमें लिंक नगरी होते ये यहां कोर्स आँखा देखाने काम करने हो एंड देर विल बी सेवरल चैलेंजेस हम सब मिलकर राइट डिरेक्शन में लाने कोशिश करने हो और इसमें हम सचेत हो जो लग मैं मैं क्वेश्चन अगर हजार बीएलई कोर्स आगे थी होना तो अगर नहीं भनी सकू देर आर लड अफ थिंग्स स्टिल टू बी ओप्ट आउट तर बीएलई कोर्स में जो यहाँ बड़ी हैंड्स अन रैक्टिकल रो रेडी टू सब जो ग्रेजुएट बनाने गुनास को लगी अं हो तो हमें तो हैंड्स अन प्क्टिकल और हैंड्स अन उन्नी अपर्चुनिटी दिने प्क्टिकल अपर्चुनिटी दिने है पक्की प्राइवेट सेक्टर कोर्स कसरी करने मोडालिटी अब तैयार करना तीर लग्न वाला मैं तो एटा समझना आगे थे मैं अलग सेयर करें अर्क हम श्रीनिवास गौतम बाइन छट मी इट इज भेरी लंग सो लेट मी बीस ट्राई टू समराइज हिज आई फील हेप्पी वेन वी कैन ठग अब द कंट्रीब्यूशन वी एज ग्रेजुएट अफ आई एस और ए एफ यू हेव कलेक्टिवली मेड फर द एग्रीकल्चर डेवलपमेंट एंड द इकोनोमिक डेवलपमेंट एट द कंट्री हाउ एवर सैड रियलिटी इज दैट द साइज अफ द ग्रेजुएट्स फ्रम आई एस इंक्रीज ओवर द पास टू डिकेज Nepal has been more reliant on import, with a few exceptions in livestock sector. Uh, if you were to name three areas for us to focus to improve the performance of the AFU and its graduate, what would they be? Uh, yeah. Thank you, Sir. Azul, very good. Azul, go ahead, sir. Azul, thank you very much. तपाई को एउटा यो सेमिनार को लागि नि पुग्ने क्वेशन जस्तो लाग्यो दिस इज भेरी इन्ट्रेस्टिङ हामी यस्तो विषयमा छलफल चलाउन पर्ने हुन्छ मेरो मेरो छोटो रेस्पोन्स चाहिँ त्यो हो तर अहिले मैले तीनटा कुनै क्षेत्रमा इम्प्रुभ गर्न पर्छ भन्ने भयो भने यो माइट लभ टु माइ एक्सपीरियन्स अब मेरो धारणा चाहिँ के छ भन्दा पहिलो कुरा त हामीले ल एन्ड अर्डर सिचुएसन ल्याउन पर्ने हुन्छ एएफयु मा अरु अर्गनाइजेसन पनि हमी धेरे काम नगर्ने धेरे बोलने आपने जिम्मेवारी अलग टाड़ा होना खोजने तेस में विद्यार्थी उस्त पाएदी टीचर ने पढ़ाए नहीं नपढ़ाए नहीं ये जांच में बस्ने पाए भी होने ये ये ट्रेंड हु अलग कमजोर छाला व्यक्तिगत रूप में एक्ल ने भाग सब क्यूमुलेटिव रूप बार सुधार सकता न सकने होना इसमें इथिक्सक आयो डिवरी का कुछ हमीस एक्सलेंट टीचर हो तर इन्वाइरमेंट में हमें डिजिटेट कर 
सायद त्यस्तो लाइनमा हामीले के सोच्न पर्ने हुन्छ मैले ठक्कै मल्टिपल क्वेशनको आन्सर जस्तो एक दुई तीन भन्न त अलि गाह्रो पर्ला तर तपाईलाई पनि थाहा छ आई थिंक यस्तो क्वेशनको आन्सर गर्न गाह्रै छ भनेर पनि सोध्नु भएको हुन्छ सक्छ अ श्रीनिवास जी थ्यांक यु नभ सर अर्को हाम्रो डाक्टर सुरेन्द्र कार्कीबाट क्वेशन छ ये बीएलई कोर्स के बारे में हाउ इज द बीएलई प्रोग्राम डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द फेज आउट बीएससी एनिमल साइंस प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम आईएएस फाइंडिंग क्वालिटी फैकल्टी माइट बी चैलेंजिंग इन पोखरा टू रन दिस डेडिकेटेड प्रोग्राम हाउवर द कांसेप्ट्स लुक इंटरेस्टिंग भनाले अब यो उसमा हामीले कसरी पहिलेको बीएससी एनिमल साइंस सँग के फरक छ र फैकल्टीहरु कसरी गर्ने भन्ने छ अब मैं पास्ट को कुछ समझा भाई डॉक्टर सुरेन्द्र जी थैंक यू मैं भाई हम जोशी डट साहब हो प्रोग्राम को पाइनियर हो हमीर में पढ़ाने जिम्मेवारी को सुरुआत मत कर एटा कुरो तो यह प्रोग्राम रो प्रोग्राम को कंपेरिजन करने काो भाई तो प्रोग्राम ही कंप्लीट भैन एक ब्याज भी ग्रेजुएट निस्किएन तेस कारण तेस को सालेंट फिचर हमें भन्न खोजे कुछ कंपेरिजन करना गाड़ो है तर यदि मैं के भू भो प्योरली बीएससी एनिमल साइंस प्रोग्राम थी ये तस्त हो इसमें हमीर को भेटेनरी को कोर्स एनिमल साइंस को कोर्स को अलावा मैनेजमेंट रटरप्राइज ओरिएटेड हमें भाषा नहीं बिजनेस एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को कोर्स रखे इसको फोकस को एंट्रप्रिनरशिप डेवलपमेंट रैक्टिकल स्किल एनहांस करने वाला कोर्सग मिले जो मैं लग थैंक यू थैंक यू नव सर यहाँ भागन मैं करें मैं अर्क मैं अर्क श्रीनिवास उस अर्क क्वेश्चन यहाँ आई रह आई वाज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू इन्वोग योर थर्ड इन दिस सो दैट सम इन द जूम मे बी लुकिंग फरवर्ड टू रेस्पोडिंग टू द अभी यूएसिटी नेपाल हेलिक्स कल एट आरएफए निस्क जो एफ स्ट्रेन्दनिंग करने विषय में सायद तेस कस को इंट्रेस्ट है कि बारे में वहाँ के अलर्ट करना भूक थैंक यू श्रीनिवास गौतम सर थैंक यू सो मच मैं एटा नव सर एट डेटा को अगि हमें स्टैटिस्टिक्स नहीं धेरे हेमं है हम डेटा में कहीं कत अलग अलग बड़ी अपडेट कर पर्ने कि बड़ी रिलायबल बना को लगी है हम जब समय डेटा बेस राम हो बड़ी रिला रिलायबल होना तब समय हम प्लांग हम जी पोलिशी प्लांग हमें इफेक्टिवली इंप्लिमेंट कर गाड़ो हो एकदम राम अब आज हम प्रेजेंटेशन में यूज भारत डाटा तो ये फ्लेक्जिबल होने डाटा नहीं हो तेजे अब संख्या को हिसाब किताब ने तर ओवरअल रिसर्चस संबंधित जिसमें हम प्लांग यूज कर बुझे प्रेम सर ने अगर हाथ रेज कर अब क्वालिटी डाटा में वी आर सफरिंग अलट हाई अब नेपाल को तो वास्तव में भन्नी हो ये धेरे रिसर्च को डाटा जेनेरेट भग अब अस्ट्रेलिया ने दस वर्ष भो तो डाइरेक्ट रिसर्च बंद करें ती डाटा मॉडलिंग को काम उ रिसर्च अगड़ी बढ़ी राखे तीन साउंड डाटा बेस अमेरिका का कुछ कैनाडा का कुछ डेवलप कंट्री में इजरायल में तो चीज हम समस्या से हम डाटा को क्वालिटी में छो तर इसको सोलूसन के हो भाला इस आने हर एक रिसर्च में रोलिशी के चीज यो जेनरेशन कन्सिस्ट भर हमें क्वालिटी को काम कर सकता लेट्स बी अनेस्ट लेट्स प्रड्यूस क्वालिटी डाटा भाई लाइन तीर जानु ना इसको विकल्प हो तेस कारण मग्री करमजी जी दिस इज अ वेरी हार्ड फैक्ट बट वी सुड वर्क अन दिस थिंग थैंक यू यहाँ हमीसंग नाफा को एडवाइजर नंद सर होगी यहाँ के नव सर ने नाम भी लिख नंद सर लो एमएससी में बसर लैंड रैंड यूनिवर्सिटी को जो रिसर्च एजुकेशन रक्सटेन्सन लाइवेस ही प्राइवेट सेक्टर र इंडस्ट्रीस लिंक कसरी करने भाई जो एआफयू को जो अल्टिमेट वो ये गोल हो तो लाइन में काम कर नंद सर पैल आईएसटीयू में काम कर पचास वर्ष सो आई एम ग्लैड टू बी पार्ट अफ द डेवलपमेंट कुरा के हिस्टोरिकल कुछ जुनी कुछ पाइनर्स स्टार्ट कर यू हेव अलवेज योर बैक इज अलवेज हो नया नया कुछ अब प्रयोग करते हुए इट्स ए चैलेंजिंग होन द बिगिनिंग तर 
you might find that it is a really working. This can just go like say more key one two one. He put in Naya Kura Gardakari, I'll get the Jelivan Garasara Vapani, or I use a Vadai Copatron, Tatavari, you got a pony, you know, Garigo, a little time to say entrepreneurship could rupa develop one of those as a livestock industry, which is growing very fast. I'll just say scale of a new barata. This can lay my lacks her. Jun Kissim Quality, Prar Barasa, Land Grant Pattern Manzani, to the Amisuru Garda de Hini, Land Grant Pattern Manzani Vanipuratio. Turkey went to government of policies, land good distribution policy, the administration of policy of Gardakri, to Chana Pan Minosakina. I mean, I double yes as such, which was supposed to be the model, Michel Chinle Jun Banana Kotiko. It's not key when Tule body the night team was a teaching garden account, research gonna come to me. Research go yak by somebody budget in death. That much I know when we started. Research go like the I'm Lenny's the master's report, a little research grant at our Tanner Garda Garagatio. The government lay yak by somebody death him. Those of Amle IWS Kurma, Possessa, Amro, it's a very small amount of money. Hello. Mali Bandagari, everyone. Can you question our conversation? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Body focus on the Rio Lab and Nilayan or Melu Garico. Yakosiko, I premonded that one. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. I Zuku presentation, Montayo, Yak Alaganta presentation, my live structure to Barmukuragano, it's a big challenge. You know, about the mega Rukura Topani, a stupid picture of Dinovaki, just your senior everything, you stick in with Hoy, and the Pigeon Gano Safar on the board, Tesco, Baladina Zanzu, is one of the number Thank you, sir. Thank you. Your sound of questions, do you think the question group must say, I don't know why you're like cattle, the buffalo population say you bigger to those possible data. I had a say, but I was a dick you, mere expectations in Kithio, and eh? Your Kasi community forest you currently plus about your migration, terry out migration currently got a happening to say, God, you go hockey, but never like that you or go good say, you're zone of Bistari Bistari. I have to cooperate with the animals. I'm not a research mini grant through say if you can use an undergraduate student like Salan Ma, Exena, young, young, non agriculturist. Let's say cooperative just a form of the Bahra Palo Surgur Maza, or a Wallace cook model thing, especially Kiovani, Sana Kisan Bata, one of the in terms of labor, in terms of capital, in terms of land, you know. To say, share my rakhela, one say, Tulo, Brona, Aikisimko, or Tulo land, Boko, or Tulo Bakra Palan, Hans, Surgon Bogosa, example, Piskurma, Agari Akumalizi, the Kikosa, Hamili, Napalabin, just my interest lagera, lagera, Parker Hamili research data collections, the Garako, Sontes, Bada, K partma. Many sons of Hosek Kivani, Adikam's farmer or saying, small scale moments. But one of the interpreters was Jordan, I say, University of the role play on Saksata. Two many men had a first day here. But Testament Jordi was a part of his money. Returning migrants are elegant, massive level, massay, uh, Cassidy Mandeki was agriculture, 
लाइफ स्टक सेक्टर में चाहे वहाँ इंटरप्रेनरशिप देखा काम सुरू कर त्यो वहाँ को बाहर बा फर्क जो सोशल रेमिटेन्स कैप्चर करने तरीका देश भि अब अर्क रिटेन्सन भी होने भाई माइग्रेन्स को वहाँ कसरी सपोर्ट कर सकते तस्त तरीका में हमें यूनिवर्सिटी ने फोकस कर सकते कि छेन हो अथवा सर को भिजन के दु तीन टाइम कोई राखे ये भाई मेरे क्या बंद करें सर थैंक यू थैंक यू प्रेम सर मैं लग हमी समय लिय ये गहकिला प्रश्न हमी फेरी अरुण कुछ प्रोग्राम ये चीज छलफल में लियान पर्ने क्विकली मैं एक मिनट में के भाई भादा हजूल ने भन्न भाग दुईटा इंट्रेस्टिंग कुछ पपुलेसन में मोडर्न इंप्रूव ब्रिडर को संख्या बढ़े पैला का थारा अथवा कमजोर भाग थोड़े पपुलेसन भी इफेक्टिव होने हो भाई लाइन में कैटल रफल के संख्या बढ़ी बढ़ेक त्यो कोईसन से एकदम भैलिडेसन करना को लगी धे एंगल बड़ हेन पड़ने हो तर स्टेट के देखि भादा खेल तो अलार्मिंग किसिम ने ड्रप होने सीचुएसन अजय आई सकता छेन भू मैं बीस पच्चीस तेईस पर्सेंट इंप्रूव भेस में भैस के केस में यह तराई को ब्रिड हो कि मुर्रा हो कि जेनेटिक स्टडी भैस अब डाटा अगि नहीं आई सको क्वालिटी को सैक्रेट कुरो भू हजर इस अन्यथा नठा हो मंत्रालय विभाग को डाटा मिलते अब हजर को भैंस को पपुलेसन से बावन लाख कि सत्तावन लाख भाई में झगड़ा भैर अब पांच लाख फरक पर्यो तर We have to work on this data. Now, this data is not only for the government, but for the people of the country. I mean, Prime Minister, we have to think about the migration, agroforestry, and other things. We have to think about the case. 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 And small farmers have to think about the case. We have to think about the case. We have to think about the case. Let us do a research. अलग एकजा हम ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट पीएचडी करूक यूजीसी को फंड पाँव अभी मैं तेज को फंड को एक्सटर्नल रिव्यूअर में आगे थो छुटुक्क भन्न पर्दा खेल वहाँ रिसर्च कर बाख्रा में साना किसान भन्न संख्या दस राख्स कि कत पाराडाइम चेंज में हो कि हमें जे साना किसान भाई एक दुई में मत लिमिट को भाषे कि बड़ा इंट्रेस्टिंग कुरो होगा वी कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस थैंक यू वेरी मच प्रेम सर हम धेरे कुरा में टाइप छो यो नापा को फोन लाइन भी कसरी यूज करने भाई रही इसलिए सीरियस कुछ हम कुरा कर थैंक यू हो थैंक यू थैंक यू बाबा सर थैंक यू सो मच प्रेम भंडारी सर शायद अरु कोई सर साथी को कसई को पर्टिनेंट क्वेश्चन छोड़ने एकजनासम प्लीज अनमिट युअर सेल्फ एंड यू मे आक्स द क्वेश्चन नमस्कार टेम्परेचर हाई लेवल अल्टिट्यूड में चाहे टेम्परेचर चाहे बढ़ी रखे होना लो बर्थ वेट बेबीज जन्मि रखा भेड़ा कुने कुने ठाव में पड़े थे तस्त खाल रिसर्च में फोकस भाग कि अभी कुछ इविडेन्स कुछ तथ्यांग सर ने तो भनी हाल तथ्यांग मिले अब एक दुटा तैं ग्रेजुएटर लेखे डेजर्टेशन तो पढ़े थे मैं लो बर्थ वेट बेबीज निस्क इस क्लाइमेट चेंज ने असर गर अरु यूनिवर्सिटी को लिटरेचर हे अलग कुरा तो मिलने देखि तर ते अल खोजे तो तथ्यांग कोई भी भेटिंदन तस्त खाल रिसर्च कि सर एकदम ये साइंटिफिक को स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन पर्यटन में एकदम खुशी लगे हजर ने यह चीज हे राख्वक एनिमल साइंसमें काम कर नाता ने भन्न पर्दा खेल एक दुईजना ग्रेजुएटर हजूल हो एकजा ग्रेजुएट चाहे डॉक्टर केशव नहीं हो उसको नाम भी 
वो अलग मिनिस्ट्री में काम भी हमीर हेमाटोलॉजिकल पारामिटर को आल्टिट्यूड वाइज स्टडी गये भेड़ा को राो साइंटिफिक कुरा आक अई भेड़ा को पाठा को वेट घटो भाई तर डाइरेक्ट हजर को इविडेन्स नहीं सपोर्ट कर क्लाइमेट चेंज ल्लाइमेटिक भारिएबिलिटी सब लिंक करो दसों वर्ष को टेम्परेचर हो रेनफल होगा घास न पाए हो कि भर हो तर तो एनफ इविडेन्स जुटी सके जो मेरे नलेज में अलग भैन तर इसमें हम कि थप जानकारी पाए आई विल किप इन टच हजर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मैं प्रेम दाई ने भूल जस अलग मसित स्टैटिस्टिक्स मैं डेटा कलेक्शन करें गो कोड पशी को रिटर्न माइग्रेन्स सर्वे करे देखिने यदि कोरिया फरे इमिग्रेन्ट हो उसको एग्रिकल्चर बार इनकम को एक्सपेक्टेशन इज अराउंड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ इंडिया फर्क हो इट्स अराउंड सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड सेवेन्टीन थाउजेंड पर मंथ अब हम अब अंट्रप त काम करतेन उन्नी इनकम थ्रेस होल्ड हमें मिट कर सकने खाले इंगेजमेंट हमें कराने सक्यों रिटेन्सन में हेल्प होने जस्ट आई एम स्टिल वर्किंग अन द पेपर बट इज दिस इज समथिंग लाइक आई थट आई वुड सियर गाइडलाइन पॉलिसी रिटेन्सन को मिनीम मानी इनकम कति चाहिए तो भाई आधार भाई काम कर सहल पर्व सब पॉलिसी लेवलम काम लगे सर ये देशभरी Ah, thank you, thank you, uh, Ramji sir, and thank you everyone for your really good participation. And 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 uh, first of all, uh, for, I would like to thank you, Amro uh, Bishi sir, for a wonderful presentation and very interactive session. Also, was very good to see Amro Medani Bandari sir from uh, uh, Gandhi University South, and also uh, Amro Batrai sir. Good to see you, Prof. Joshi sir, and everyone. So I like really, really good, very interactive. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, I know it is can be a really you know would like to you know stay longer, but you know we have to respect the time. And I would like to request uh, uh, Napa Vice President uh, Dr. Pradeep Wagle uh, to have a, a closing comments. And, and uh, Dr. Uh, Wagle, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. Tiwari. Um, Namaskar, everyone. Um, on behalf of Napa Executive Committee, I would like to. Thank uh, our uh, Mr. Speaker B.C. Dr. Dev Kota uh, tonight. While a short time, I am a very informative, very um, thought-provoking. Our survey summary, I am like a very one place shopping, just to one stop shopping, just to like a very very broad picture. At the end, the short presentation I include you on board. So, like again, uh, the very very thankful to you and thank you so much and congratulations for the great presentation. Thanks again, our webinar team. Uh, Good to see you, Arjun, uh, Dr. Tiwari. Uh, thank you so much for uh, this uh, webinar team for putting such a great uh, presentation together. And uh, most importantly, participants. If the participants are unwise, then a lively discussion will be there. If any program, if any value will be there, then thank you so much, uh, all of our participants for joining. And we expect your continued participation in our future programs. And as my, I would apologize. यो आज फेसबुक अथवा जूम को अथवा के कुछ मिले मैं धरचोटी प्रयास कर फेसबुक लाइव जान सकेन हम सब हम वेबिनार फेसबुक लाइव भी होने गथे तो भैन तर हमें रेकर्ड कर हमी नापा को यूट्यूब में अपलोड कर हम हम सोशल मीडिया में सेयर कर इट विल बी बैक इन आवर सोशल मीडिया तर आज फेसबुक लाइव स्ट्रीम से मैं धेरे प्रयास कर मल्टिपल ब्राउजर अनेक कर कसई करे सक्सेस भैन तेस को लगी अपल जाइज रेस भाज नापा को एक्जिक्यूटिव कमिटी भाइस चेयरमैन मत नईकन एट मेम्बरशिप ड्राइव कमिटी को चेयर को हिस्सा ने भी यहाँ मैं धेरेजना नापा नन मेम्बर स्टील अन फैमिली नेम देखी रखे तो उन्हें प्लिज जोइन नापा हाई तभीमें रहकर भी एसोसिएट लाइफ मेम्बर होने यूएस कैनाडा ये लाइफ मेम्बर रेगुलर अब स्टूडेंट मेम्बर सब होता प्लिज जोइन तो भाई नहीं हम एवटे प्लेटफॉर्म में फेरी फिर फ्यूचर में डिस्कसन में संग संगे होने भाई हम पार्टिसिपेन्ट होने हेव अ गुड डे अब वहाँ को मंडे स्टार्ट भैस रामो अमेरिका 
Thank you again for attending uh, this great presentation and thank you so much, Dr. Dakota, for great presentation. With that, I would like to adjourn uh, this webinar and you yeah, have a good night uh, in the US, Canada, and then go have a good day in Nepal. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so. very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.